Hello, this is Branham Leonard with Leonard Street Productions, and today we're going to be working through the expressions lifts. So I'm just going to make a new composition. Doesn't really matter what size it is. There we go. And we're going to start with making a new, new solid. Shortcut is Apple Y. But for example, person. I'm just going to make it 200 pixels by 200 and make the little color a little lighter there. Okay, so we got a new solid, and if we go twirl this down, you'll see the rotation property. So to get to expression, you click on the watch icon right here while holding alt or option or if you're on a pc control option and this little arrow here has all of the helper expression values and there's a lot of good stuff in here so these tutorials are going to work through all of these and explain how they work so we're just going to start with the first one, it's a really basic uh, comp name. So before we get there, just going to make a new solid, move it over here, and I'm going to put a rotation, as, so it has nothing on it. We're just going to keyframe that, move forward in time and let's say 360 degrees and look at that it's rotating excellent so i'm going to pick with that rotation and we have an expression basically it's saying this comp which happens to be comp one in this example uh layer light gray solid two right there transform dot rotation so if you see here transform rotation property so if we click off of that you'll see that they're spinning together so what does this do well instead of using this com it's com name and we can call the comp by its proper name, which in this case is comp1. So make sure you have quotation marks and nothing is happening, which is good because it means we accurately labeled this comp. If we, let's say, got rid of the space, we get an error says that comp doesn't exist okay so whoop to do why would but if we make a new comp comp 2 and we make a new solid and we'll make this one red and let's do a rotation again in two seconds and this time we'll go negative 360 degrees. If we change this to comp 2, oh, we got a mistake. Ah, so comp 2, it's actually red solid number 1 that we're going to want to source. Let's one. All of a sudden, it's spinning in the other direction because it's taking the rotational value of this layer. So, comp is great if you want to use a different comp than the one you're in. Anyway, it's pretty basic, but that's comp name. Till next time, I'll see you later.